A season of change is upon us here in South Dakota as we preview the Coyote women's basketball team. New players, new coaches, challenging schedule, lots to cover here in Coyote territory, so let's get started. Head coach Amy Williams replaces Ryan Williams after Ryan took the head coaching job at Colorado State. Amy has a deep background in Division I hoops as first an assistant coach at Texas San Antonio, then as an assistant coach and recruiting coordinator for Oklahoma State and Tulsa. She recruited the 19th ranked recruiting class for Oklahoma State in 2003. She spent the last five years coaching at Rogers State, an NAIA school in Oklahoma. However, Williams and her staff have some work to do this season as they work to replace a trio of seniors from last season. Amber Peggy, Annie Roach, and Jody Boss combined for nearly 60% of the team's points, 52% of the team's rebounds, and 86% of the team's blocked shots last season. All three also started all 31 games for the Coyotes. While that leaves a hole, Williams and staff believe that the tools are there to fill in those holes, starting with a pair of senior guards. Alexis Yackley started every game but one last season, led the conference in assists last season, and was eighth in the conference in steals. She also had an assist to turnover ratio of 2.3 to 1. Tempest Wilson also returns after being the third leading scorer for the Coyotes at 8.6 points per game last season. Both averaged over 30 minutes per game. Senior Pam January also has made strides on the court this season and could see a lot of playing time. As far as newcomers, sophomore Nicole Seacamp will see plenty of action early on this season. Seacamp was the starting point guard for the Australian U19 team that won a world championship in 2010. Juco transfer Polly Harrington should see playing time in the post after playing last season at Johnson County Community College in Kansas. And Margaret McLeod is one of the talented freshmen for the Oaks. She averaged over 16 points and 14 rebounds for last year of high school. Finally, a look ahead at the schedule. The Coyotes are finally eligible for the NCAA tournament this year, which adds to the excitement this season. USC has an interesting schedule, which promises to be one of the toughest the Coyotes have ever played. Six teams on the non-conference schedule made a tournament last season, with three of those being NCAA tournament qualifiers. Three of the first four games will be against postseason tournament teams, USC will go to WNIT qualifier Drake and WBI runner-up Northern Iowa and then host NCAA qualifier Creighton on November 20th. They'll see another NCAA qualifier in Idaho State nine days later. USC will start the conference schedule against Omaha on December 30th. A few conference games to circle at the beginning of the season include North Dakota State on January 3rd and South Dakota State on January 6th. They'll see those two schools a few weeks later with the Jacks visiting the Dakota Dome on January 30th and the Bison on February 2nd. Omaha rounds out the conference slate on February 28th. The Summit League Tournament will begin on March 9th. 